study the effect of concentration and temperature variation respectively on the rate of reaction between sodium thiosulfate and hydrochloric acid. Materials required Burette Burette stand Burner Tripod stand Wire gauze Measuring cylinders Stopwatch Conical flask 0.1 molar sodium thiosulfate 1.0 molar hydrochloric acid Paper with a mark X at the center Test tube holder Procedure Measure and add 50 milliliters of 0.1 molar sodium thiosulfate to the conical flask Measure and add 1.0 milliliters of 1.0 molar HCl to the conical flask. Place the conical flask on the paper that has X mark at the center. Start the stopwatch immediately when half of the HCl is transferred to the conical flask and swirl it. Go on observing from the top of the flask and stop the stopwatch when the cross mark just becomes invisible. Note down the time. Repeat the experiment by adding 2 ml, 4 ml, 8 ml and 16 ml of 1.0 molar hydrochloric acid solution to fresh sodium thiosulfate solution every time and record the time required for the disappearance of the mark X in each case separately. Then plot a graph between the concentration of HCl on the y-axis and time needed for the mark to disappear on x-axis. To study the effect of temperature on the rate of reaction. Add 50 ml of sodium thiosulfate to the conical flask. Place the conical flask on the paper that has X mark at the center. Measure the room temperature of the solution by using a thermometer. Add 5 ml of 1.0 molar hydrochloric acid solution. Start the stopwatch immediately when half the amount of hydrochloric acid has been transferred and swirl it. Record the time at which the mark X becomes invisible. 
add 50 milliliters of fresh sodium thiosulfate to the clean conical flask. Heat the solution by keeping it on the burner such that the temperature is increased by 10 degrees Celsius than the room temperature. Place the conical flask on the paper that has mark X at the center using a holder. Add 5 milliliters of 1.0 molar hydrochloric acid solution. Start the stopwatch immediately when half the amount of hydrochloric acid has been transferred and swirl it. Record the time at which the mark X becomes invisible. Repeat the experiment by increasing the temperature by 20 degrees Celsius 30 degrees Celsius, 40 degrees Celsius from the room temperature. Plot a graph between temperature and the time taken for the mark to become invisible. For plotting the graph, the variation in time is plotted on x-axis and the variation in temperature is plotted on y-axis. Observation and Conclusion As we can see from the graph that the rate of a reaction decreases with the passage of time as the concentration of reactants decreases, and rate of a reaction increases with an increase in temperature.